It would have been cool if we would have put it when we were talking about the game shit, but it wasn't really the game. Oh, uh, yeah. This, but the guys up there, you know, this is like, I'm not sure which one this is, but it's going to be the uh, Pinko style uh, car versus challenge and everything. Everybody's doing the versus. We had E40 on there with mm. two short. That's a, a different kind of versus. We would have, we would have chopped it up on that on the other other half because that was, that was some good shit, good vibes and everything, man. So, um, anyway, man, this is going to be uh, this is going to be the car challenge. I think this is round five or six. Mm. Uh, what we got right here, we got the tracks going to be Brands Hatch. We're going to put for to, to rule it out. We got pro drivers on there and everything, and uh, we got the, this car is a normal. Uh, uh, DOT dot uh, race tires and everything. So like your eighty eighty oh eights, your whatever tires that are in that class, and uh, the, the car is going to be the um, this is a, the one G Viper GTS versus the nine eleven Carrera RSCS, the GR Yaris um, RZ versus the M three uh, Sport Evo Evolution E thirty. Mm-hmm. We got the Roadster S uh, ND uh, versus the Subaru BZ. So again, we already know that we got the you know we played it on the game whatever man. This year. Your, uh, if these are two two pro drivers on the track, blah blah blah, man. What, how you see that going down? And again, this is all your choice, man. Uh, uh, the, Viper, the Viper nine eleven. What, what do you see going down at Brands Hatch? Viper nine eleven. I yeah. think. I I ah uh, okay. So I'm not gonna get the technicals. I think the nine eleven. Mm. Um, nine eleven is going to be quicker to go faster and. You're gonna be able to go faster in it longer. The Viper at some point, the grunt and everything is just gonna overtake the comfort. Mm. So I think that 911, the 911 is gonna be able to do it. Yeah, and it, I, that's it. And it's, and it, and it, my bad, the guys are there. I didn't meant, I forgot to mention it's gonna be it's a 10 lap battle. So even at pro drivers, uh, they're stock. Believe it or not, I think guys who don't know, I think a stock car. Would take more energy to drive than like their say their prep F1 car because the F1 car is, is engineered to the finest level. It's actually it, it's not easy to drive, but it's easy for them to drive if it makes sense for the guys that are listening. But say a Viper, a Viper is a car that um one mistake, man, you're you're spinning that bitch or you're doing something or you know a little bit too engaging. Whereas like you said, the 911 has that power band where like you get this lay into that bitch on most all corners. You can you can you can break a little bit later. The Viper's a, b- a bit heavier, I believe. You can break a little bit uh, soon, uh, later in the in a, in 9/11, and you can accelerate a little bit faster. Viper and, has a lot of power. And but... I think that 9/11 is lighter, mm. so it's 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 less on the equipment. The Viper's mm. heavier. It's right, more breaks, torque. Yeah, it's Heat, more torque. Yeah. So you're bringing more energy into that corner to break. You're taking more energy to break, and then using more power to accelerate out of the corner. And right. a place like Brands Hatch that has a little bit of uh, um, incline and decline, dude, going down the hill. In that Viper stabbing it out of like turn two, I think that is. You're gonna mm-hmm. hit downhill and be yeah, on the brakes to yeah. roll it in, you know. Yeah. yeah, man. So I definitely, I would, I would, I would agree with that too, man. Mm-hmm. All right, so next, uh, next round, we got up, we got the G, the GR Yaris uh, RZ, which was making some noise recently with some drifting stuff here in Japan. They had some few, well, I think one J, two J swaps, shit like that. And then he got uh, versus the M3, which is my, this is my favorite M3, actually, believe it or not. The E30. Yeah. Yeah, E thirty Evo. Yeah, man, I like those lights and everything. I just I like that, uh, like that one, man. So, what do you got on that? Uh, like I say, same same parameters. Pro drivers, uh, ten laps. Uh, I want to go with the Evo, uh, with the uh, M three. But dude, I was just on here raving about <laughs> all wheel drive turbo Toyota, yeah. and even if it's the worst vehicle i think it would do good because it's not that heavy it's mm. speaking with those two cars um the the m3 is super light it's incredibly mm. light um but that yaris is it too heavy and i think that that vehicle given that it's turbo versus the na four cylinder um, I think that turbo is going to it's gonna produce more lap times. Um so I'm gonna go with the Yaris. Okay. I'm gonna Got go you. with the Yaris right. on that. Cool, cool. The uh, I would you know the thing about the Yaris the Yaris, I mean I know more about the M three than naturally than the Yaris because it's kinda of, the newer cars, I, I respect them, but I just kinda the new cars, man, they seem 
most of them are gimmicky, but within those gimmicks, there's some some some, some good yeah. shiners that come out. And after just playing them in the game, I was like, dude, I'm actually, I'm actually intrigued. I want to actually drive this in real life because on a game for stock, I just adjusted the camber, lowered it, and it was like. It, well, it, it, I haven't drove it on the game yet. I gotta see. Yeah, it did. Do yeah, it, it, it did. It did pretty good, man. I mean, you know, like I mean, it, it, GT is a good, a good example of like you know they got the cars out the box, they got that body feeling, and then as soon as you lower it, camber, they, <laughs> they feel refined. This one felt like that, like out the box without any other tuning. Like the tow was left alone. I didn't change anything on the spring rates. I just changed the camber. Added like I think one nine in the front, and I think I added like one five in the rear, just to compensate for the rollover of the uh, you know the suspension. And I don't want to get too nerdy on it so that we can move yeah. to the next one. But I think, isn't it more front wheel drive base of a car? Yeah, yeah, it is. It, it, okay. I can, actually, so I, I can feel the torque. I can feel a torque steer a little bit. So yeah, I would drive that thing around the track like a front wheel drive car and just be stabbing out of corners with all wheel drive. Yeah, because when you, yeah when you went around and went, you would kind of you had you would kind of have that and then would kind of. It would grip up and everything, and then, like I said, the guys there who have wheel. This is this is another reason why I say to, I don't care how fast you're on a controller. The, these new wheels, man, you can actually no shit feel <laughs> torque steer a little bit. So yeah, that's something you, you can't feel through your controller, man. So that's where guys there who are knocking GT or any other game out there when you plan on your your controller or on your you're on your just playing. you're just you're just <laughs> your just, your, your first edit your first edition 1080p TV. Like it's a little bit different, man. Get a, get a good TV on that stuff like that. Then the last one here is going to be the uh, Roadster S ND model versus the Subaru BRZ, man. What do you got on that, man? I'm going to go with a Miata ND mm. because, and this is, oh, this is, this is the, the only reason why. Because mm. I know that the BRZ has more power. Right. I just think that the Roadster is going to be um, easier to drive on the limit more than the BRZ, if that makes mm. sense. Yeah, no, that makes um, sense. Because there's no, it's no, it's no guess as to why there's so many Miatas at track days. Yeah. So um, I'm going with the Miata on that because it's a big difference in power, but pff, I think they give you enough for that Miata chassis to uh, to to get quick and just dial in a quicker line, especially after doing ten laps, you're gonna right. get like right around second or third lap, especially on the Brands Hatch. After you've gone up that hill and you're like, dude, I could break hella late going up that. Right. Hill. You <laughs> you're know, talking about, you're talking about two pro drivers, so they're gonna figure yeah, that car out quickly. Dude, Even fucking, and, I'm going way up that hill, dude. Yeah. Then the uh the, the the Miata man, both those cars are one of those cars where people are like, oh man, they did they cool this to no, but the power, I'm like, dude, they're meant for drivers, man. They're meant for people who know how to get the most out of nothing. And yes. they're not saying they're nothing, but they can they can again I can bring up Hamilton and all these other guys, man. They can get in your car and blow your fucking mind because they can push that car to the fucking extreme limits mm-hmm. of like, you know, destruction or like Right on the limit, right on. I mean, diving that bitch in late, super late braking technique and everything, and you'd be like, "Holy fuck!" Yeah, my BRZ can do this. Like, yeah, it <laughs> yeah, can do that. Yeah, yeah. stock. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, you change the tires, you get yourself a good seat so you can sit in front of the wheel because you know how that is when you're over here, the wheels over there, and you're trying to you're using a fucking yeah, steering wheel to pull your, <laughs> or you're holding like, <laughs> your knee on the door. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Over here, yeah, yeah, man. That, you, you, you're you're not focused, man. So. Of course, naturally, we're talking about these cars are going to have buckets, each shit in it. The pro driver is going to demand that. Or they're just rock, drop, jump in there and, and roll it like a little bench seat or whatever, man. But if it there is, was yeah. three mods, yeah, somebody's going to give you any card you want. And you can mm. only do three mods. And you're going to go do an endurance or a track day that is multiple laps. What are right. the three mods that you're going to do? For me personally, it's going to be it's going to be seat, it's going to be tires, and suspension. That's that's it, man. I mean, I, I don't. The diff can do what it does. And most of those new diffs are, hill. They're not normal. They're not normal. They're, there's very few cars that come with an open diff anymore. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, I, for me, seat, seat, tires, and suspension. That's it. That that's. Yeah. What about you, man? Yeah, I would do about the same thing. Um, I'm for sure going to lower it. Right. Uh, um, and I would probably. If it was a new car, 
and it was coming on its OE equipped tire from the dealer. Mm-hmm. I might leave that. Okay, okay, yeah, I, that's a good point. I might leave that, and I may do spacers just to space the stand okay. out. Okay, wide, wider is right. better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but but dude, yeah, suspension seat and a a a grip enhancement either if, if it's tire or if yeah. it's to to space. And I actually to, to go on that because the tires, I would the seat will be subjective to what the car is because some of these cars come with good seats, man. Mm-hmm. Some of these cars like the DC two, like the they come with those. I mean, it's good enough to keep you in, in front, front of, of the, the wheels, yep. yeah. Versus like one of those flat bench seats. Some cars are coming with like. I mean, the, the, like I said, Integra, the, a lot or of cars have got different seats. blown out FC in the side bolster. Might as well be sitting on the couch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just got that, man. But, hey, guys, so there again, we're watching the car challenge. Again, be sure to, you know, it's, it's, it's starting to grow. People are starting to watch it more. Uh, be sure to, to comment what you think will win and everything and stuff like that. Maybe in the future, what I'll do is we'll announce it. We'll, um... We'll let it run and everything, and then like maybe announce for the next time we're gonna do it. And then like if you guys pick correctly, the ones like Alexis picks, and then you get a get a prize and stickers and stuff like that.